uh, lifestyle way cut in. This is the long length one, Anya. This is what she looks like now. Yupika cut in these awesome layers that now has completely lightened up the face. Before, if you saw in a previous video, it was very heavy coming down. Now it's really easy to wear and just looks super awesome. So that's that. And then also, I made a mistake in a previous video not explaining properly how to block the uh, block your wig to it's yeah, called so how to properly put your wig onto the head before you wash it to help prevent inversion of the hair and also to prevent any tearing. So this is the wig we're using here. And this is the part typically where there would be inversion coming through and also tearing can occur if you don't properly block it. So in my last video I had showed you that I only put two pins on each ear tab and you need to actually put four pins. You want to put them on one on each side and then two at the nape as well, so one in each part of the nape. And Vika's gonna demonstrate how that's done on this head. So there she goes on. And you also wanna use a head that is actually smaller, uh, you know, a small head because you don't wanna stretch out your cap. So you wanna try to find a mannequin that has a small head. So there she has one pin, and she's putting it into the right side of the wig at the ear tab area, this is actually a gripper, so it's slightly different than the one I showed you, but they have the ear areas as well. And she's gonna put one on the left, on the ear tab area. And then she's going to the back, and this is the part I didn't do in my video, mainly as a result of not having enough pins, but it's actually really important, and you don't wanna miss that step. So on the nape, there's little areas at the corner of the wig that are a little bit kind of firmer that you can actually put the pins through to block it properly onto the mannequin head. Um, so don't skip that step, you know, do as I say, not as I do. This is the proper way to have uh, done it and I should have been doing it this way the whole time myself. So now she's completely blocked and ready to be washed. So um, that's that, I just want to share my new cut and give you a little update. I don't want anybody messing up their wigs because of something I did or whatever like that. So make sure you use four pins, uh, properly block the head, and you don't want to, you want to prevent inversion. You also want to tear the cap. So I will see you soon. Bye. I just want to show you again. I know I showed you in the salon, but I just want to show you again my hair. Um, you saw in one of the videos, I think it was number four. I'm just like seeing if anybody's looking at me. Um, you saw, I think it was in video four, what Anya looks like when she's completely uncut. It was all one, well, kind of a long length, a little two inches in the front and then a 19 down here. Now, Vika has cut it in to be like framing me like this. And it has like, just like a really nice style, you know, it's just a really, really nice style. The other thing is, stop looking at me, the practicality of it, it's not like, it's not like falling in my face. It's easy to wear. Oftentimes I wear like this because I like the style like that, but also because it keeps the hair from just coming forward. This is really nice. Now I can wear it all the time like this. I probably am. She also like uh, flat ironed it a little bit. She put a little spritz in it, and I think it's awesome. So, it's not the real. Thank you.